Four surgical incisions are designed to their use in this technique. The first incision is made distal to the medial malleolus at the navicular border 3 cm long. Through this incision posterior tibial tendon is identified at its insertion at the navicular bone, then PTT tenotomy is performed from its insertion. The tendon must be harvested as long as possible, otherwise a short tendon could limit the tenodesis site decreasing the lever arm of the transferred tendon. The second approach is a 3 cm longitudinal line parallel and next to posteromedial border of the distal tibia, starting 10 cm from the tip of the medial malleolus in the proximal direction. This incision is used to identify and separate the PTT from the longus flexor digitorum tendon to expose the entire tendon. The third incision is made 3 cm long, lateral to the anterior border of the distal tibia, parallel to the second incision. A longitudinal window of 5 cm is performed in the interosseous membrane to transfer anteriorly the posterior tibial tendon. Then, an under flexor retinaculum path is performed to pass the tendon using a long angled clamp to pull the PTT from the third incision. The fourth approach is 4 cm long, located in the proximal direction from the metatarsal cuneiform joint, above of the lateral cuneiform. Here, the posterior tibial tendon tenodesis can be developed by tendon invagination through a bone tunnel or by anchor fixation. The final step is to attach the native anterior tibial tendon to the transferred posterior tibial tendon with a side-to-side -side tenodesis technique. 